After 30 years of service, my Craftsman half inch ratchet needs maintenance. So we took it apart, sprayed it out with brake parts cleaner, and we're reassembling. And uh, Craftsman in the instructions with the rebuild kit shows a tool, and it's probably a home built tool, but uh, you depress. Uh, that little ball bearing. There's a spring under that and then there's a ball bearing that's on top of it. Now, this piece has to go in the back first and it fits inside of this piece. And we're going to compress that ball uh, with a jigsaw blade. Depress that ball, stick the switch in the back, the selector, and then put the selector gear in the hole. That's what we're going to attempt. So you're going to be a little out of focus. I'm by myself. I do not have a cameraman today. So bear with me. My elbows are probably going to be in the way, but here we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, I'll take you back off the camera or off the stand again. We'll look this up close. All right, right there, you see the ball bearing. We have to depress that down into the body of the ratchet. The selector switch here has to go in the back first. Uh, at the top, there is a a piece that retains it in the body of the ratchet otherwise it would just fall out so there that is uh, the tool is sort of s shape that craftsman shows in their instructions but there's that so we've already inspected the gears uh, of this ratchet i've owned for 30 years it was gifted to me by my parents and it served me well one of the greatest gifts i could have received as far as earthly things go. It's kept me out of a lot of trouble. So we'll continue with the reassembly here. And obviously uh, disassembly is reverse. I find myself saying that a lot in videos. This is uh, the retainer plate for the gears. I'm wiping it out. I'm tempted to turn it around. I don't know if I should do that. There is some wire on it. Okay. 
here is the, the ratcheting device itself. The gears are in very good shape. I have put a pipe on this, used cheater bar on the ratchet, and it is held up very well. Here's our plate. Put it back in there like it came out. And then finally, uh, the snap ring. Uh, this one, the number was to the outside. And I will reinstall it that way. It has a very small serial number on it. Flyers are giving me fits today. Actually, it's time to get a new set. There we go. thumb on that till I'm sure that it's in place. It is. So we've got an audible click again which we did not have. Um, in the spring hole, I used ATF after the brake clean. That's automatic transmission fluid. Clean, new, automatic transmission fluid. A lot of people use a, a synthetic grease in there. I used a a Molly assembly engine, engine lube on the gears and ATF in the springed areas. Back in business. Uh, that passage I like to use, whatsoever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Keep yourself busy doing good things. Thank you for watching.